Hey everybody, this is Chris with Cocoa Beach 365, and I'm standing out in the middle of hot, humid Cocoa Beach, Florida, because many of you have asked me to make a video to help you find Comet Neowise. Neowise will be visible almost every night for the rest of the month if you go out just after sunset and look northwest. You want to go out right about one hour after sunset, and Neowise will only be visible for about an hour after that. Although if you've got a good pair of binoculars or a really nice camera, you'll probably be able to pick Neowise up more like a half an hour after sunset. For this video, I used a Nikon D7500 at an f-stop of 4.5, ISO 1000, and a 5 second exposure. It worked pretty well. Neowise is located almost directly below the Big Dipper, approximately one half the distance between the horizon and the bottom of the spoon part of the Big Dipper. It's going to be rising a little bit and moving a little bit to the left each night until it gradually fades from view by the end of the month. Of course, the darker the spot you can find, the better a chance you're going to have of seeing Neowise. Neowise survived its closest pass to the sun on July 3rd and is now hurtling towards Earth at an astonishing 144,000 miles an hour. It is expected to make its closest pass sometime between the 22nd and 23rd of July. 2020. Neowise will only be visible in the northern hemisphere and will be higher above the horizon and easier to spot in the more northerly latitudes, but even all the way down here in Florida we still get a pretty decent view for about one hour after sunset each night. If you live in the southern hemisphere, if you can't make it out to a dark spot or maybe the weather's just too cloudy to see it, don't worry. Neowise will be making another approach in approximately 6,800 years.